Hello everyone, this video is all about media preparation as per requirement. Watch this video till its end so you can see the basic SOP of media preparation. So as a microbiologist in different industries and clinical lab, we prepare media through ready-made dehydrated media whenever we are planning to do tests or some procedures. It is less time consuming because we don't have to measure accurate ingredients separately. There are a lot of famous brands available in the market like Merck, Oxide, etc. But we are not here to promote any brand. So we are here to share normal routine for media preparation through dehydrated media. Here are different media available for different testing and procedures. I will show the basic SOP at the end of this video. So let's start our work. I am going to prepare media as per my need for today. I added distilled water to the each bottle as per my requirement and we can also use deionized water rather than distilled water. First I made my mind for the media as per the requirement as like I added 200 ml for SDA and DSA media and 100 ml for McConkie, MSA and CA. You can find these media codes in description box. Now I am going to place the autoclave tape on each bottle cap and write down the code of media so I can identify each media bottle. Now I placed or stick the tape on cap. This tape is autoclave tape and it will change its color after sterilization cycle. I am writing down the codes of media. You can see the code for particular media on its screen. So here are the codes for each media on cap. Let's start measuring dehydrated media through weighing balance and the weighing balance is verified for the day. The description and procedure for media preparation are written on the back of each dehydrated media bottle and also in their certificates which we receive from the supplier. So what is certificate of analysis? Certificate of analysis is a very important document for each chemical or media because it has evidence of analytical status expiry from the supplier. Also, it is very useful in your internal and external audits. So in this channel in future, we will also discuss the chemical media and their storage condition along with the log register and how to maintain the file of certificate. Let's come back to our work. So here I will follow the procedure and weigh it as accordingly. It is a triptych soya agar bottle and it is a back side and you can see clearly the procedure and the description. So it is written as Dissolve 40 gram in 1 liter of purified water, heat in boiling water and agitate frequently until completely dissolved and then autoclave for 15 minutes at 121 degrees centigrade. I need 200 ml of triptych soya agar media and for that I divide the 40 gram of powder to the 1000 ml purified water and then multiply by 200 ml of required amount. So it will come 8 gram. Now I am going to weigh 8 gram triptych soya agar powder to dis dissolve in 200 ml purified water. Let's start doing weigh of powder. I am using here calibrated and verified weighing balance. I teared it first to make it zero and using butter paper to measure powder. You can also use aluminum foil or battery plate lid, whatever is suitable for you. Again tear it to make it zero. Now slowly measure the powder. Plus minus one gram is okay. Remove extra powder to make it 8 grams. So here is the accurate 8 grams, you can use it. Now I will carefully remove the butter paper from the analytical balance and pour all contents into the container or bottle. 
You can weigh powder directly with bottle if you have electronic scales, but bottles are not suitable for this kind of analytical balance. Well, close the cap carefully. Next one is Sabro Dextrose Agar and for this, the preparation method is written as Dissolve 65 gram in 1 liter of purified water, heat in boiling water and agitate until completely dissolved. Autoclave 15 minutes at 121 degrees centigrade and do not overheat. So as per calculation of 65 gram for 200 ml, it comes out 13 gram powder. Now I am weighing as same as I did for triptych soya agar. Now the 13 gram is accurate and I will put the contents into bottle with 200 ml water. For other media preparation I will do the same and will check the back side of description to measure the powder. For mannitol salt agar it's written as 111 gram is required for 1 liter so I will use 11.1 gram for 100 ml. This one is a dehydrated media for my conky agar and it says 52 gram for 1 liter so I mentioned already to do easy work like for 100 ml we need 5.2 gram. For citromite agar that is the selective media for pseudomonas aeruginosa so well it is written as 45.3 gram in 1 liter plus 10 ml glycerol that I calculated as 4.53 gram in 100 ml plus 1 ml glycerol and also I mentioned for 200 ml to make my life easy. It is very useful when you write the calculated grams per ml on media bottles so you will not have to use calculator on daily basis. In between that, I have on the water bath and until my work done, it will reach to the selected 100 degrees centigrade. So all the media have been weighed and uh, I will add 1 ml glycerine now to the citromide agar as per the description. This is my reagent bottle that is glycerine and glycerine and glycerol are same. Don't be confused in between them. Now I am weighing 1 ml through the sterile syringe and adding 1 ml to the citromite agar. After completion of the weighing process, now I am going to dissolve all these media in bottle through heat by water bath and agitation purpose. Shake the bottles to dissolve sedimented contents or media or powder. and place them into the water bath at 100 degrees centigrade. It will take 45 to 60 minutes at 100 degrees centigrade. You know for doing this we can also cover the, this water bath and uh, agitate in between like we are doing right now. You can also use beaker or other container for media preparation. So it's all depend on your suitability of your lab or yourself. And also you can use the flame but due to direct heat it is not recommended and not good for the protein available in the media. After 45 minutes doing continuous agitation and heating process the media become transparent as you can see that means it's done. Now I will remove these media bottles carefully from the water bath. And can you see, these colors are looking very beautiful. Now I am going to do steam sterilization process through autoclave to sterilize all these media. So here is a bonus for you all who are watching my video till its end. That is a basic media preparation SOP and that is not a sample, it is an approved SOP from the company and you can take a screenshots or make it your own with some addition so here is a bonus for you thank you for watching